uh, here with Major. Uh, let's start off, if you would, what can you share with us from the scrimmage on Saturday? Big little first milestone for camp. Uh, what did you see? What have you seen when you go back and look at video? Well, execution, um, you know, picked up, uh, was pleased with where we picked up from spring ball for our first scrimmage. Uh, but looking at it, there's just areas where we can continue to execute better. Um, you, you anticipate a little bit of that in your first scrimmage, and you, you hope to have it all you know, better uh, for the second scrimmage. The things that were very positive and encouraging was that we played without a turnover. Mm -hmm. First and second unit, you always have a chance to win when you do that. Offensively, it was very clean. We didn't have a lot of substitution issues, didn't have uh, any delays, didn't have procedure penalties, poor formation, so we played very clean from that standpoint. Just actually executing some of the plays, we didn't play as sharp as we wanted to. Uh, we moved the ball, we were explosive, we got to get better in the red zone offensively. Uh, on the flip side, the thing that's very encouraging is the defense played extremely well in the red zone. Um, <clears throat> we want to get the ball away more. We had some opportunities, we were disruptive with the ball, had some batted balls, tip balls, but we got to get some takeaways. Um, so just, you know, taking some things away from it, just execution overall, the effort was great. Thought our intensity out there was outstanding. For our first scrimmage, hot as four hells, the guys were, you know, uh, the effort was outstanding. Did you limit um, ones or did you get a, did you kind of more focus on the twos? And uh, no, three? our ones and our twos got about 60 plays a piece. Uh, so they played about two thirds of the game uh, and it was hot. It was real hot. We had some situational red zones, some situational two minute uh, to work on. Those were some additional snaps. Uh, so, the, so the guys were up there in snap counts and then the threes got about 25 plays just kind of interspersed throughout the scrimmage. But, you know, pleased with their intensity, pleased with their focus, their preparation, the effort out there, uh, the effort to disrupt the ball, although we didn't get takeaways, but we were disruptive and taking care of the ball offensively. So now we've come back and now it's another opportunity as we talk to our guys about this is where the execution should pick up. This is where there's no more making the same mistake twice. Uh, you know, this is the second coat of paint. You should be much more polished coming through the second time of the offense and the defense. Heading into this full week, obviously, every day this week, and then the second scrimmage, which would probably be pretty key as well. What do you tell your guys as you go out this morning to kind of pick up from where, you know, moving forward from that first scrimmage? What's the focus for each one of these guys right now this week? Well, keep it, keeping it simple. You know, as coaches, you can get so emotional throughout camp, and you can be up and down and happy and sad, and, and you start moving your goals around. And for us, it's the same things. It's, it's our effort in terms of how we play, um, whether it's flying to the football or finding work as an offensive player. It's about isoing the ball, keep taking care of the ball, or getting the ball away. Very simple. Effort, ball security, but the thing that we talked about more this week again was execution. This yeah. is the second time through the offense. This is the second time through the defense. We should clean up a lot of these mistakes, and, and from an execution standpoint, it should be cleaner in our second scrimmage. You may be a little bit limited on what you want to share, but uh, <clears throat> with the additions in the offseason, some key guys you used, you brought in for depth purposes. From that new set of guys, anybody that you've seen maybe some positive things from early, some some things that make you hopeful that, that yeah. bringing them in is going to pay that? Uh, I saw positive things from all of them. Okay. You know, and uh, you know, Quinn had an opportunity to finally get out there and work and, and move the field and uh, did a great job at quarterback. Terrence is, uh, is going to do great for us and is, is providing a, a much needed player at that position to give us more of a three-man, two, three-man rotation than what we've had in the past. Uh, Raylon was able to get back out there after a little back sprain and showed why you know, we, we wanted him here. Darian Owens is, is doing a good job at middle backer. Uh, we got a lot of competition inside with the backers. And Nick Watkins showed us, you know, there was one we had a post over. Uh, he came right off the post and played the over and just had just great feel, mm -hmm. just instincts for, for why, why you brought him here. And so all those guys are bringing what, what we thought they could bring. Um, it's just about the team, the team, the team. Just continuing to develop our effort, our ball security, and then this week the execution will do the second time through our offense and defense. With the caveat being that they're freshmen still, anything you've seen from any of these freshmen early on, any guys that are kind of getting in there in the competition, some and you see them climbing a little bit? Um, you know, they're, they're all, it's, it's just day nine. You right. know, and, um, it's too early. That, right. we, we don't want to say anything. We don't want to get committed to anything. We want people to keep developing. You know, we're still roughly about three weeks, a little bit less than three weeks out from game day. So there's still an evaluation phase right now. And our guys have been wonderful about it. Let's just develop as players. The depth chart, let's not even worry about the depth chart, guys. But the three or four years that I've been around here, we've played everybody. Right. We played everybody. We had senior walk-on wide receivers running down covering kicks because of the lack of depth in our roster. So everybody be, needs to be prepared to play. Everybody's going to practice with the new red shirt rule. Everybody needs to be up and available. Major, it's, um, maybe it's been, we don't see it in practice. It's not out there. But it seems like early on, you've had a lot more scouts come out 
the scouts come out. Obviously, Ed's uh, a big part of that, but you also have some other guys that are getting looked at. How how big has that been? To, you know, I know you don't focus on that, and know, but you probably notice it that you've got you know six or seven that come out daily just to watch your your players. You know. I think it's great. I mean, it's uh, it's an indication of you know obviously Ed draws a lot of attention, but. Houston's a great city. It's easy for people to get to. It's, it's wonderful to have that exposure. And let's just be honest. I mean, these guys growing up and they want to play in the National Football League. And when you have all of these scouts coming out, there's motivation. When you walk out on the field and you see four or five different NFL logos as you jog out the stretch, it gets you moving a little bit. So I think that, I think it's great. I think it, it's, it's outstanding for our players. It's outstanding for opportunities. Uh, we, we continue to welcome them. One of the guys um, 